video will demonstrate the four projections of the wrist, AP, oblique, lateral, and PA or PA axial ulnar deviation. Our patient will be shielded, sat at the end of the table with their elbow flex at 90 degrees, their hand pronated on the cassette. The cassette size is 10 by 12. You can get away with using an 8 by 10 if your facility has that available. SID at 40 inches for every projection. For our first projection of the AP wrist, we have the patient center the hand and wrist to the center of the cassette. The long axis of the hand and wrist is parallel to the long axis of the cassette. The CR is going to be directed and enter through the mid carpals perpendicular to the extremity. We're going to place the marker on the lateral side of the extremity. What we want to do with the fingers is flex the fingers in to decrease the OID of the wrist to the cassette. Collimation will include distal portion of the ulnar and radius and the proximal metacarpals. The patient will be told to hold still and we will expose. For our next projection of the wrist, it's the oblique projection. We are going to have the patient start in a pronated position and we are going to have the patient rotate laterally to a 45 degree Again, make sure the hand and the wrist centered to the IR. There will be tight collimation, again, including the proximal metacarpals and the distal at least one inch of the ulnar and radius. You will have your patient hold still and expose. Our third projection of the wrist is the lateral medial projection. We're gonna have your patient turn their hand and wrist to its side. Do ensure that the radius and ulna are superimposed over each other. You can feel for them here by palpating gently. You're going to adduct the thumb. You will place your marker this time in the medial aspect of the extremity. And once again, your collimation will include the proximal metacarpals and the distal at least one inch of the ulna and radius. You will have your patient hold still and expose. For our fourth projection of the wrist, we are going to do a PA or PA axial ulnar deviation. The focus here is on the scaphoid. We have our patient now turned and facing the cassette. The long axis of the hand and wrist again are parallel to the long axis of the cassette. In order to demonstrate the scaphoid clearly, we are going to add a 15 degree angle proximally toward our patient. Our central ray will enter at the area of the scaphoid and we will have their, our patient gently deviate as much as they can towards the ulna side. Tight collimation on the scaphoid include just a little bit of the distal radius and ulna and about mid metacarpals. Have your patient hold still and expose. And that concludes our four projections of the wrist. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yo, <laughs>